America. I'm Michael Williams, and I want to welcome you to the 2016 Independent Presidential Debate. Josh is here tonight representing the Stalemate Party, a reform group started in 2009. The opinions and policies of this party are mostly unknown, but whatever they may be, it's obvious they won't accomplish much. On the flip side, we have Brian Farsvet here tonight as the nominee from the Birthday Party. The origins and legitimacy of his affiliation are non-existent, but voters seem not to care as Brian is polling at a whopping 0.007% of the country's voters, trailing behind D's Nuts and Harambe. Hello, Mr. Jor. Hey. Mr. Farstvet. Hello. Well, you both know the drill. I'm going to ask you some questions. And... Wait, you're Josh Jor. You're running for vice president, correct? Correct. Megan LaRue's the presidential candidate, right? Yeah. Well, does she plan on attending tonight? Nope. Fair enough. All right, Mr. Farsvet, the first 30 seconds is for you. Do you have an opening statement? I do. America, you've had these choices. You've had options available, and it's come down to Trump or Hillary? Listen, I want a better man. A fast-moving, progressive America. And I urge, for your personal freedoms and for your liberties, to go with the birthday party. Put your trust in me, America. And a brighter future will come. All right, thank you. Mr. Jor, the floor is yours. America, you messed up. Vote me for games. Now settle down, everyone. Let's keep it quiet. Now, Josh, you seem to be very informed on the subject of... Gains? Oh, yes, sir. I happen to own a copy of the Swoley Bible. Very nice. Very nice. Now, without bringing up too much on religion, what would you do to enforce gains? See, sir, my belief is man came from nothing until man started to lift. Once man was able to lift, history truly began. First there was nothing, then there was the lifting man. Yeah! Oh, yeah! yeah! Very insightful, JJ. Now, Mr. Farstvet, if you will, what is your party's stance on gains? The, the birthday party is generally neutral on this issue, but with recent economic struggles, we feel that gains should be taken off the federal budget. That's not neutral! He's anti-gains! Mr. Jor, you had your turn, please. Continue, Mr. Farstvet. I believe that we should cut a few government programs focused on gains. This money can go towards schools, education. And on the subject, I also believe we should not have the Swoley Bible be required in public schools. What? No! The Messiah died on the cross fit for our gains! You communist! You freaking communist! He's anti-gains! He's anti-gains! No! 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 Sure! Please! Gentlemen, seeing as if this is a conversational topic, let's switch gears. Josh, how do you feel on Americans with disabilities? Oh, well, you see, I'm very much for Americans with temporary disabilities as I am one myself. I think each of them should be treated under no charge and given welfare in government clinics, and I'm an advocate for that. How about Americans with permanent disabilities? What? Should they get welfare? Yeah, no, they're, they're screwed. <sighs> Brian, you're up. What are your thoughts? You see, I stand for an equal America. One where all Americans, with or without disabilities, will be given an equal opportunity. Ah, so you're promoting welfare for all Americans, then. Welfare? <laughs> no. I'm saying we cut all welfare. If you're disabled, sucks. You're screwed with the rest of us. Hey, temporary disabilities is a real problem. You're my only problem. You're your stupid face. Yeah. Well, you are just plain stupid. Well, you're gonna get assassinated. Whoa! Gentlemen, please, let's get back on topic. Let's talk about clothes. I'm pro pajamas. I'm anti-shirts. How do you feel about furries? No! 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 Minions? Pro. I am also pro minions. Didgeridoos. Yeah, I have my didgeridoo on me right now if you want me to play it. Yep, yeah. No? I'm anti didgeridoo. Okay. Gun rights! 
We're gonna pass on that one. Cellular devices. I have an Apple. Samsung. I'm actually very well informed on this subject, Samsung. and I can go off on a tangent if you want. Uh, nope, we're out of time. Uh, any closing remarks? I'd like to say the birthday party is here for you. We're not here just to lie to you like other candidates on this stage, but we're here for the American people. Build a brighter future. A vote for us is a vote for harmony, a vote for equality, a vote for tyranny. Good night, America. Wonderful. <laughs> Josh. See, I think this country can be a lot better, but it could also be a lot worse. Right now, we're at a pretty good spot, and I think, I think we need to keep that going, America. <laughs> Stalemate. That's what you need. That's what I want. Vote me, Vice Presidency. Thank you, America. This has been The Debate, brought to you by the Black Lagoon. I'm Michael Williams, wishing you all a wonderful night and a lot of aspirin.